Okay, so the difference from 45 from 30% battery was about 15 horsepower. We're at 310 versus 295. You can see the torque is identical up to about 4,500 RPM. Okay, so we've done our pulls now up to 60% battery. We've got 75% now and we're gonna do a couple more pulls, but you can already see this trend that's um, building here. So you'll always get the same amount of torque up until the point of peak power and the lower the battery is, the earlier the power caps off. And then from that speed, which we have to figure out exactly, but it's about 50 or 60 kilometers an hour, from that speed, there's a noticeable reduction in power the lower the battery is. on the dyno with our Model 3 doing the state of charge dyno test. We tested the car at 15, 30, 45, 60, 75, 90, and 95% um, battery state of charge. Um, we really don't recommend going above 90% just like Tesla and there's really no need to go below 15%. The battery longevity is significantly increased if you stay between 20 and 80 or 90%. So for this reason, and we'll, and we'll even show you, there's really no performance benefit to go above 95%. So the interesting thing with our dyno test is that no matter what the battery state of charge is, the maximum torque from a low speed is the same. It's only above a certain speed where the torque drops off earlier and as a result the power is less. So we can see here this red line, that's 30% state of charge and that's just over 280 horsepower. And 90 and 95 percent are the green and red lines, and they're basically exactly the same. So there was no performance benefit to go from 90 to 95 percent. And that could also be because the inverter was a little bit hotter at 95 percent, since it was only about 30 minutes between um, those two dyno poles. It's interesting to note that the car, once you shut it off, didn't do anything further to cool down the system. So because we weren't continuing to drive, the drive unit uh, was a bit hotter than it would normally be. We can also see a pretty significant step from 60 to 75 percent. Uh, we'd have to do more testing to see if that's just an anomaly or if that's actually real. If that's the case, then there's a pretty significant difference between being uh, between 70 and 100 percent and down around the 60 percent to 50 percent area of the battery. But really the main thing to, to learn from this is that if you're going below about 60 kilometers an hour, 40 miles per hour, you have the same power and the same torque. It's only when you get above 70 kilometers an hour or so when the power difference is really significant. The biggest difference being around 6,000 motor RPM. Alright guys, that's about it. We're working on a bunch of new parts for the Model 3 and... Uh, We'll be telling you more about them soon, but in the meantime, subscribe, and uh, we've got lots of new tech videos coming up soon, so don't miss out on them. And grab a t-shirt.